right, everybody. Welcome to the Pastimes Podcast. Uh, each week we go through an old newspaper from a random date in history picked out by Dave Anthony. I'm Gareth Reynolds, and I've never seen it before, and neither is our guest this week, Dave Holmes. Who, hey, guys. Despite what I just said, also has a podcast. I do. A new I one. Do. It's such a coincidence that we all three of us. It's weird. Have one. It's weird in this day and age. That's um, weird. You know, when we started the dollop in 1991, mm-hmm. um, it wasn't this saturated. But no, yours no. actually sounds very interesting, which is rare. Uh, yours is called Video Killed the Radio Star. Correct? No, it's Ra- called Who Killed the Video Star. Who Killed the Video Star. But it certainly relates to what you just said. And it is the right. It's basically. Well, why don't you explain it? Because you have such great insight into this world. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I had, I had a good seat for a lot of it, but um, it's it's kind of the story of MTV and how how it you know how it started in the early '80s and how it became this this massive pop culture brand that sort of you know defined mainstream youth culture for decades, mm-hmm. which is sort of difficult to do. Uh, and now, now it is sort of this zombie linear cable channel that shows really uh, escape fail videos uh, yeah. all day long. Teen moms yeah. and it's it's ridiculousness. It's uh, mostly it just is ridiculousness. ridiculousness. It's mostly yeah, just ridiculousness. As a matter of fact, I counted as I was writing the most recent script, and for <gasps> the next six days, I went through the whole MTV um, programming grid. And for the next six days, as far into the future as I could go, they are showing uh, Ridiculousness 149 times. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the show just got picked up. This is a bit of a spoiler. But we find out because um, we talked to Rob Deerdeck and to Shane Nickerson, who is, you know, a yes. guy as well, who's one of the EPs. Shane is also a fan of our stuff, I should point he's out. Great. So yeah, 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 he's great. Yeah, Shane's great. Yeah, he's a great guy. Um, and they just got picked up for like, I want to get this number right. Like 2,352 more episodes. Holy Because <laughs> they do, they do like coming on 300 a year, like 200 something close to 300 a year. And they got picked up for f- five more years with an option for two more after that. Um, it's crazy. Most importantly, most importantly, they are now unionized. Yes. Yes. That That's show right. for a while. And because well, I would, I would, I worked in the same building as Shane and I would get in the elevator. I'd be like, how those residuals and you just be like yeah like well when you do nine thousand episodes at that point i feel like you're like yeah you know what yeah yeah well well the dry dick dry dick whatever his name is is like a whole he has like a whole plan of just like being crazy rich just leaving out the part of taking care of uh people that work for you it's going great yeah i mean yeah he has got a plan for world domination you talk about somebody who can say the word scale 15 times in any sentence that Rob Deerdeck is <laughs> like we talked to him and he's, you know, he's a fascinating guy and he's obviously very smart and, yeah. and you know, he's like, he's self-assured and he's got the world on a string, but it's, you know, he's one of those people who just talks in this sort of young business guy jargon mm-hmm. that like, I really wish I knew what you were saying. Because no, it's yeah. weird when you feel like that, you're like, what? seems so easy now that you're talking about it. Exactly. Um, yeah. And the first video that MTV showed, Video killed the radio star. Video killed the radio so, star by the Buggles. What famously. a crazy little twist! Well, and people yeah. can get that wherever they get podcasts, and you uh, also- wherever they get their podcast. Only it's exclusively at Target. <laughs> That's the best place. <laughs> yeah, um, but you also are, like I said before. I mean, you some of the stuff that you write on Esquire, and you are just a great follow. So um, people should follow Appreciate you it. at Dave Holmes on uh, on the socials and all that bullshit. And uh, yes, please do. On TikTok, I'm official Juice Newton. That's the only thing I'm not. Sure. I'm actually Holmes not going to encourage people to go there just based on. I've never name. posted anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, I maybe posted a picture of my dog, but I, I haven't. I Great don't, I'm afraid of it. I don't know what to do there, but I feel like I should have, you know, something. Well, yeah, um, well, thank you for joining us. And uh, Dave, I, I believe you did this last time, but we like to guess the year that the paper Dave uh, mm-hmm. Anthony has picked out. I'll go first because I'm the guest in mm-hmm. my head. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to guess that the year will be. I'm going to say 1926. Okay. Dave, okay. Dave Holmes, our guest, Dave. Better I, Dave, you. I mean, this isn't far enough in the past, but I but I do dream of a, a time when we come on here and we're looking at a newspaper from 1984. So I'm going to say that. Oh, that'd be great. If that... Oh, my God. I was so close it. to doing that. I Damn almost it. did that. You know why? Because I, I was like 
Dave Holmes would be best at like the mo more recent history. He would probably kill it, but I couldn't but find Dave didn't want to put you in a position no. to succeed. Right. So yes. he went with a paper from 1888, which 1888. is 1888. Wow. Which is similar. It's just a hundred years. Yeah. Old. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. when uh, Michael J. Fox and Doc Brown were cooking in the old West. Uh, for oh, those of us, Mary Steenburgen, yeah. they came up with the Jules Verne train that time traveled. In part two, two in, or three? Well, three, but there's a lot. It really two and three are just one movie, in my opinion. I see. Yeah. I didn't come to, to those until much later. And you uh, should have, because I'll tell you what, uh, fuck, however old I was when those came out, <laughs> boy, oh boy, did I want to be Michael J. Fox more than anything. Oh, Can I tell you yeah. something? I, uh, like the, the show, like our, this isn't even a timely reference, but like our, our Queen's Gambit, our, you know, whatever, whatever the show is that like everyone's watching our version of that in this house at this time is Family Ties on Pluto. Wow. We are yeah. binging the shit out of Family Ties on Pluto. There's I, a whole channel devoted to it and you can just hop in Pluto, at any time. Just it's, Pluto just great is stuff. Is Pluto best. good? Is it I really? It. Oh, oh my God. Are you not up on Pluto? I'm not up on Pluto, but <laughs> I'm looking for Pluto. new things. Well, let me tell you something. They have hundreds of choices for you. It is, it's free. You it's ad You're getting some of this. I'm not, I'm Come not, on. but I, but can I tell this. you something? I want to work for them so bad. I want to curate a channel for you them will. so bad. I, who knows? Maybe, you know, Scott, Scott Gimple and I did do, we like took over their Instagram for a night and we, oh my and we God. like played a night of nineties movies on their nineties movies channel. Oh wow. And like, and we're on their Instagram. Live, I mean, which you getting a MST3 Pluto channel it. is a no brainer. Well, you know, maybe this is how we start, but it's, so we have they have, they have channels reach. devoted to a bunch of old shows, uh, Family Ties being one of them, Three's Company, you know, things of that nature, uh, Dynasty, The Love Boat. Wow. But then there's, you know, just old bad dating shows. Uh, mm -hmm. There's, there's you know, old 90s and 80s game shows. They have studs on demand. Ah! They have two oh. seasons of studs ah. on demand, which include the one that Ron Goldman was a contestant on. Oh my God. Wow. Yes. Whatever You're... happened to that guy? Yeah, oh, well, that's a crikey. bit of a story. That's a well, that would take some explaining. Been a recent <laughs> twist as well. There, there has been a bit of a twist, and, uh, and which which you know is it's official. We'll never know what happened. We'll no, yeah, no, yeah, no. And he, he spent his whole life trying to find out who did it, and just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't yeah. someone golfing. That's what we know. No, yeah. definitely not. It wasn't a Earth. golfer. What's your skin regimen right now? Because Dave, <laughs> we got to get into the podcast. You're tight. Dave. You're glowing. Dave, we got to get into the podcast. Seriously, what are you doing? Is it we peptides? It's, I don't know what a peptide is, but I do know what retinol is. Nobody knows what a peptide is, but I, I know what just, retinol but you would, is. Oh, okay. Are you doing retinol? Yeah. I'm doing yeah. retinol. Yeah. Great. I'm, and I'm, uh, ointments? A lot of ointments? A lot of, I Some basically, oil? I'm with an apothecary and mm -hmm. just, right. it's a lot of, you know, bird feather mulch and mm -hmm. it's, you know, who masks? It's a whole thing. Oh. This is actually mortar and pestle are involved. a lot of yes, absolutely. Yeah, you know, I have yeah, I even have a cauldron that I'm working okay. with, a real bubble, okay. bubble, toil and trouble. But Dave, we're not here for that. <laughs> okay, but Dave, why don't you read from your silly paper, or whatever this is? I forget what show this is. To be honest, uh, Dave, your skin looks great too. It's just Dave, yeah. don't do this. It's not as it's not no. as nice. well. So the, maybe mean. the difference. Maybe you've just always been tight. And so, you know, right. it's, it's just loose. look good. Dave's loose. Uh, well, yeah, you know, just Gareth, you, you know, if you just, you look good. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Dave, stop it. Thank I you. Don't mean stop to it. indicate that you looked bad before, but it, but it, no, it, it I, is, a, it is, what Dave, when it we were startling, when we were so, hanging there, I definitely, things were, fall, the wheels were falling off for a while. There was a lot of drinking. <laughs> well, I mean, it was, we performed in a bar. It didn't help things. Did not help things at Did all. Did not help things. Certainly no. didn't. Um, well, speaking of drinking in bars. Yes. Dave Ansari. Sorry. No. Chica Chicago Tribune, Sunday, November 4th, 1888. Great you ever live in Chicago? In Chicago. I spent a winter there uh, in 2015 okay. uh, trying to get a draft of my book done. Because okay. I, I, I wasn't oh. doing anything here. And I was like, I need to go somewhere where I don't know that many people. And it's deadly to go outside. So yes, I spent good. a couple months in a friend's attic apartment in uh, in uh, Logan Square. It was great. Right. I loved it. it was great. Have you lived there? I never lived there. No, Dave I'm from Milwaukee. No, I spent uh, I spent some time there. Like a, on tours, I would always sort of end up in Chicago for a couple weeks, mm -hmm. breaks and stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. okay. But I, I right, love nice. it. I'm 
Is what you're talking. Nah, I'm not buying it. Go ahead. Anyway. Uh, Southern Democrats alarmed. Well, this could go either way, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's 1888. You don't want the Southern Democrats alarmed. They're still yeah. alarmed, by the way. They never stopped that. They are still alarmed and <laughs> trying to be like, we will just give us a chance. <laughs> A sudden but unmistakable cry of alarm comes from the Southern, the, sorry, the Democratic Democratic camp in South Carolina. The situation there appears so serious that the Charleston News and Courier, in its political leader in yesterday's issue, says, quote, the political situation in South Carolina is serious enough to challenge the attention of every honest and patriotic citizen and to arouse every Democratic voter to the fullest discharge of his duty to the party and the state. It's always the end of the world, isn't it? It was like, always yes. the end of the world. Yes. It's like, it's always yeah. unprecedented times. Yeah. Also, I, I don't think arouse is one of those words that you just, it's over. Arouse yeah. means one thing. Someone's sure. getting hard or someone's getting wet. It's one yeah, of the and two. then you throw a discharge in there. And you cannot be throwing, tossing discharges around when you're talking about arouse. <laughs> no. No, it's, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you on that. I one. mean, and this is the 1880s, so you write those two things in a paper. There's a good chance a guy was jacking off to those two words. That was enough. That was all we yeah. had back then. That was you looked at the word arouse. You looked at the word arouse and discharge. You're like, all yeah. right, I'm going to that house for a number four. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> a deep, a deeper cut. Yes, yes, yes. God damn, it's um, it is. It does. It does seem like. Um, did you see this show years and years? No. Yes. Is it on Pluto? No, it's uh, on probably. Apple. But it was uh it was on, yeah, it was on Apple or HBO or something. And uh yeah. it's uh and it's you know, it it's uh, uh it's a tough watch. But yes. um one of the characters in it says something to the effect of um we were we were all born during a pause. Yeah. Like it's just the world's always fucking falling apart. Yeah. But if you're around our age, if you you know came of age in the '70s and '80s in America, certainly you could sort of feel like, oh no, everything's actually fine. But no, it was just a little bit of a pause. People were you know clear sure. was, and at the end of the world would continue apace. I mean, I always, I always say that the '90s was like a coke party that everyone was just having fun and going crazy, and then. Uh -huh. 2000 hit and all of a sudden the sun was up yeah mm, and then yeah. ever since then it's been not right. it's mm. been yeah uh, kind of the way the world is and the solution <laughs> is more coke i've learned yes yeah that's probably it'll become night before you know it plow through mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> shovel that driveway yeah yeah yeah, yeah. as it were uh the spell that has seized upon the people must be broken if we would hold our place in the democratic ranks and preserve to our children the priceless benefits of good government. Well, there, I will, yeah. Spoiler. I will note that we don't know what's wrong yet. We don't. True. Fair, fair, fair point. There is a danger in the air. The Republicans, with a vigilance that knows no sleeping, are on the move. This they intend, yeah. They intend, true. if possible, to capture at least two of the congressional district and districts and to pull their full strength for the Republican electoral ticket. Wow. So this Man. is like literally could be printed now. Yeah. Today. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Cause they're not saying anything specific whatsoever. No, but I am no. scared. I am already like, but we can't let those Republicans do that. Yeah. <laughs> Although this is 1888. And so a Southern Democrat is, is probably, yeah. Like mm -hmm. racist as hell. Oh yeah, no, they're this is this is when they're about to sort of end uh, any reconstruction like possibilities. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, they intend, if possible, to capture. Oh, I already said that. They have taken heart of our indifference, our divisions, or our overconfidence, and there is good reason to feel that they will pull a heavier vote next thir Tuesday than any election since 1876. Surely the Democrats of South Carolina have cause to be alarmed. I think it sounds like the most important election of their lifetime. Absolutely. It, well, it could be the end of like democracy. If it doesn't, it could be. I think it might it be. I think it might be. Whichever yep. specific way this is. Yep. <laughs> so it I is mean, a Democrat saying that there are people within the party 
who will They're, work with the Republican Party. Yeah, the, the Democratic Party, they're saying, is divided. Yes. And infighting and also what might work with the Republicans. Uh -huh. If you can imagine that happening. Basically. Right. Who were, at the time, the more progressive of the two parties. The Republicans, yes. Yeah. It's hard to... It's just hard. It's, it's, it's real. It it's is real hard. hard. It's, that switch hard. is wild. It's like yeah. vice versa. Like they just like held a vase during a lightning storm and we're like, I, I bet you wish you had my party. Yeah. And that's how we got to where we are now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the clothes don't fit. It's yeah. real weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, the newspapers of the state, almost without exception, realized the danger and warned the people with no uncertain sound of the urgent necessity resting upon every Democratic voter to cast his ballot November 6th. Yes. So the people aren't going to turn. I mean, that's basically what they're saying is like the our candidates suck and the people aren't going to turn out. This is the usual, you know, that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Classic. Yeah. How did it turn out? Do we know? Uh, the 18 election. Um, mm -hmm. Do you want me to jump in and handle this, Dave, or do you want to look it yeah. up? I, nope. You want to? Okay. Uh, well, let's. Okay, go ahead. You got it. <laughs> go ahead. If you got it up, but I could just tell you otherwise. Oh, go ahead, Gareth. I can't, dude. My whole ugh. My uh, Benjamin. So Benjamin Harrison, the Republican, uh, crushed Grover Cleveland, the Democrat. Uh, but okay. then again, this is when the you know you've got the. Grover Cleveland is from the North. He's from New York. And now we're talking about Southern Democrats and the whole thing's just untenable for them to work out yeah. their issues. Uh, okay. Yeah. And this made it all the way up to Chicago. Yeah. So we're talking about all the way to Chicago. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, the Lord gives and takes away. It's a funny follow-up. Yeah. Yep. yep. Is that, I feel like that's, is that the comic strip? <laughs> yes i just want it to be like the hand of god with like some command some stone tablets in it yeah every it's, it's a single panel yeah it's, it's a, a single panel circle. there's just one guy like phil he's like oh yeah. god uh, oh, oh, he did oh, it no. again. oh oh god no. uh a german reports the death of his child a man named william schusler came into the west north Avenue Station the other day and reported the death of his daughter, two years old. Jesus Death Sergeant, Christ. This happens, Gareth. This is I know, well, but it community. happens a lot. Yeah, that's why oh, I'm like, why time. are we highlighting this? Like, I would imagine every train, someone's like, well, my boys are dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's the <laughs> accent. Death Sergeant Patton expressed his regret that the doctor had not been able to save her. The doctor, exclaimed Schusler. There has been no doctor. I will never allow a doctor in my house again. Fair. Well, I think we're seeing the problem. We're seeing, the problem is now apparent. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, a Christian uh, science although, kind of a situation. The problem was well, apparent. Thank you. Uh, Bing. Wordplay. Thank you. Um, is, yeah. Was there a religious objection to um, medicine? Let's see. They are, uh, well, then there were all kinds of objections, uh, and some of it reasonable. Like, I was just going to say, like, great. doctors are like, let me get a little of this horse poo on my hand, and then I'll put it in your stomach. Oh, right, right. Okay. We're past so leeching, you, but we're not, we're not, we're not out of the woods. <laughs> not at all. Things. This is no, when they okay. still were like, you want germs in you. That helps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, they are of no use in any case, and I know it, sir, from my experience. I once yielded against my wishes and my reason and permitted a doctor to enter the room where one of my children was sick. He wiped his bald head with a handkerchief, looked wise, and prescribed one of his nauseous drugs. <laughs> I gave my child some and immediately grew worse and died. Never again will I interfere with the Lord. Oh, yeah, so, no, you're right. It is yeah. a Christian. Yeah, it's a Christian. Okay. <laughs> two dead kids. That's rough. It's rough for yeah, sure. I mean, but I don't know why we got to bring the guy's bald head into it. That seems a little out of line. Well, that's uh, a, I mean, that's he's, a he's sign hurt. of. He's, just, he's freshly yeah. hurting. Yeah, but that's also a sign of like, I am very, very elite. You wipe yeah. your head with the. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. You know what? I don't. Um, I'm sure this is all from memory. You know, this is all like somebody telling the story the way that they remember it and whatever. But I don't like. Okay. So I walk in to somewhere to tell you that my child is dead. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, are you honestly going to say, I am sorry the doctor couldn't save her? I mean, that's it's a weird first thing. A, and then a, for him to be like, the doctor. Yes. <laughs> it is a, it, it is feels, a strange. It's stilted. It just doesn't, yeah, I get it. doesn't feel it. It feels like right. it got punched up for the time. It, yeah. does. The paper. it does. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels. Uh, uh, yeah. Unlike most biblical stories, this one feels a bit off to me. A little bit. Yeah. yeah, apocryphal, perhaps. Yeah, this yeah. has this has a little like my five year old said that democracy uh, is the most important thing. And my daughter walked into the defeated. kitchen and said, "Ruth Conda forever." Ruth Conda forever. <laughs> God Almighty, Best did that make time. me want to move to a non English speaking country <laughs> and was, live in a it was, tree? It was. It was the greatest. I actually remember checking her Twitter recently, and it's still private. She's, oh wow! She's not ready yet. Wow. Oh no, no, nor will she ever be. She shouldn't be. No, nope. oh, God. No, no, no. Ruth, God, no. The best. The best. No. The best. It's the best tweet ever. No. It, the only thing worse than than like inventing that scenario is the idea that it might be true. <laughs> I agree. You know what I mean? Like I if agree, the, yeah. what a creepy way to what raise a, a child. A horrible job <laughs> you've done if that happens <laughs> in your kitchen. Um, if your five year old knows who Ruth Bader Ginsburg is, uh, fuck you. Sorry. <laughs> Ruth Condon. No. No. It's it might be what Twitter was its best. Yeah. No. Oh man. You know what? Uh when oh well, OJ dying, that could have that had such potential to be a great day. It was still pretty good. It yeah. was good, but it was like eh, he won. I it. mean, he won. Yeah. He did. He win. did it. Yeah, yeah, he, he did. did it. Yeah. Ron Goldman punched, stuff, punched it in Ron again. Goto. Yeah, it's true. I can't take that away from. Can't him. wait to see it. I will watch that. Uh, never again will I interfere with the Lord by great by the grace of God. The children are born, and when He requires them, they die. Yep. Of what use are physicians? <laughs> yep. Good. <laughs> again, good. Good. Again, I don't buy this dialogue. <laughs> I agree. It's a bit, yes. It fe- no. This feels like a one panel comic. You're not wrong. Yeah. Two the panels. Lord yeah. giveth. Oh, did you see yeah. today's The Lord giveth? Oh, yeah. yeah no, it's on oh, the wall yeah. of my uh, barn cubicle. <laughs> real good, real touching one today. Funny yeah. as hell. Yeah. Real funny. It's good stuff. Uh, of, what you, sir, <laughs> of what you, sir, physicians, no doctor shall enter my house. Never, sir. Never, sir. While I have power to forbid. Schusler is a laborer and lives mm. at number 904 say. Northwood Street. It's weird. An officer was sent to the house and the dead child was found there. From Do appearances, we need this part? okay. From appearances, she probably fell a victim to diphtheria. A coroner's request was held Friday and the usual verdict of sudden death was found. So she died of death. Yeah, she, she death. death got her. Okay. That's okay. the dip theory. Yeah, that she, yeah, the yeah. death okay. took her. And um, okay. I guess, would, why would you need a doctor? Honestly, so far from what I've heard, I'm almost on his side. Yeah. The doctor to me doesn't sound like there was much going on. Right. No, they, only... would, they would be like, okay, so I'm thinking heroin and cocaine. Yeah. 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 Here, let's give, yeah, let's give your five-year-old some vomit tablets. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the end of that. So. Oh, boy. Yeah. Wow. Enjoy the rest of the train ride. That should be a That's bit a weird. That's a shame, though. It is a bummer. Wow. Yeah. Did he have other kids? Got it. Did 100 percent of his kids die? I'm uh, getting well, I'm gonna, had another kid die. Yeah. I'm gonna guess he had other kids too. Back then bet, you were like more. eight or nine. You just yeah. that's how you went. If you wanted to keep three or four, you had eight or nine. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. And then every now and then someone would be like, God damn it, they all lived. We're poor as fuck. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's, that's the rough. Lord. That's the Lord. He giveth. And sometimes you wish he would take away. I mean, every now and then it'd be nice if this guy would take us. Yeah. I got that's the um, That's the collection. Sometimes you wish he would take us away. And like, and the main and guy is like, is Pluto. like, Andrew. take it away. That's yeah. a Pluto show, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I wish he would take us away. Wow. Well, we gave him a bunch and now they can't make lunch. That's it, Lord, better take it away. Oh wow! Boy it. Starring a young Norman Fell. <laughs> uh, uh, more soup meat is recommended. <laughs> oh fucking a! What a great one. More soup. Already meat. a great headline. Yes. Is recommended. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
The October <sighs> the October grand jury was discharged by Judge Collins yesterday, <sighs> acting on the recommendation of the judge. A committee of jurors visited the House of Correction Friday and Saturday. In its report, the committee spoke highly of the cleanliness of the workshops and the manner in which they were heated and ventilated. Interesting the discipline, start. Yeah, the discipline was found to be excellent, and the conduct of the officials was commended. Some dissatis dissatisfaction was found among the younger prisoners as to the quality of the food, especially the soup wow. and the meat. Imagine right. this time when prisoners were people were like, well, we should probably give them a little bit more. Instead of now, we're like, you'll eat shoe rubber. A hundred percent. And there you go. one another. Yeah, and each um, other. Yeah. So wait, so it was more soup, comma, meat is recommended? S soup, yes. Uh oh, soup and committee recommended. Comma's big there. No, especially the soup and meat. No, it's just soup and meat. There's no comma. Well, but oh, they okay. still are they're not saying meet up the soup. Yeah, they're saying, you're saying meet, up the soup. meet in the soup. I right. think they're saying meet up the soup. Right, oh, are they saying meet up the soup? Uh the committee recommended more soup meat. Wow. Oh, okay. okay. So they really are going with the weirder version. Yes. <laughs> Why not give them their own meat and let them decide if they'd like to include it in the broth? How about a soup course and a meat course? I think Separately. that's very nice. Yes. But instead, they're just like, no. You'll, Put it all together. Have, yeah. And, and more meat. And more meat. In the more soup. wet meat. Yes. yes. Hot, wet meat for the yes. prisoners, please. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the only industries from which revenue was derived were found to be brick making and cane seeding. What? So they're so they're the prisoners have to work, you know, oh. to crank out money. Well, that, yeah, they need. Yeah. That's why they need more meat in their soup. Yeah, you know, just the cells. Meat. Sorry, the cells ahead. were reported as overcrowded and poorly ventilated. Weird up above, they said that it was nicely ventilated, but okay. Yeah. The committee recommended that boilers be immediately placed in the new addition so that it may be occupied. Okay, there you go. That's the story. Okay. It sounds like the end of the Pink Floyd song, The Wall, where it's like, how can you <laughs> yeah. have any soup unless you go and have more meat? You, you, you do whatever it was with your canes. Yeah. Lo okay, long ago, uh, I took a uh, a cooking class um, in like in Hollywood. You know, you know that old building that looked like the Hamburglar on uh, yeah, yeah. La Cienega? Yep. It yep. Like this weird black and white striped building. I took a cooking class in there. And during one of my classes, they were like, if you could stay after a, a TV crew is coming in, like the whole class, they were like, you know, we, they want to, like a TV crew is coming in, they want to talk to like people in a cooking class. And so they did. And it was, uh, it was, I think it was Fox News. And wow. so they they came in and they were like, uh, we're doing a segment on Nutra Loaf, which is like the new it food in Beverly Hills. It's like, you know, it's got all the nutrients that you need and whatever. All like, you know, the young celebrities are, are all eating, eating neutral love. Woody right. Harrelson only does neutral love. Only, mm -hmm. only neutral love. And so they like served it to all of us and got all of our thoughts. Wow. And, and in my head, I was like, this is not, this is not as it seems. There's going to be, they're going to do a switcheroo. You know what I mean? Like, this is not, this, this is not as simple as they're uh -huh. Whatever. So I was like, nah, it's not not my thing. Whatever. There, there was an older guy in in the class, and he was like, "This is not it. I'll tell. This is never going to be it. This food this is not it. I've been around a while. This is not it." And uh, and so whatever. He fucking went on forever. And then and then of course the switcheroo uh, did come. And what it is is that neutral loaf is actually what they're feeding prisoners in certain prisons because wow. it is a loaf that just gives you the bare minimum uh, of all the nutrients that you need there's no, like taste to it oh my god no we've th we've gone uh, back to the 1800s that is what that the, is yeah the fucking explorers would take out is exactly like we've gone all the way back that's we've what they used the to feed back. them yeah I'm and a... so so they so they then went around again they're like does does that change how you feel about it and the guy next to me was like well it's not this isn't it <laughs> it's not I... this is never gonna be it <laughs> like he was he was like a dog with a bone uh, yeah, I was gonna anyway. say whatever lesson you've taught in that has been yeah. overshadowed by the, I don't, this isn't it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know that they ever this is an it. segment. This is not it. This is not <laughs> it. Uh a mother's pathetic search for the remains of her son. Jesus Christ, leave her alone. <laughs> what pathetic search? What an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> This is from St. Paul. A touching scene occurred at the Sherman House before the Indians left. 
Oh, crikey. What a time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Miss Catherine McLaughlin of Galesburg came to St. Paul a few days ago to await the return of the Indians. Miss McLaughlin lost a son in the Custer Massacre, and her earnest desire is to recover his remains. Mm. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, we empathize, but and and we know that every every child that the white people killed was given back to the Native That's Americans. Right. So That's it feels right. like it's only fair. Mm-hmm. Yes. Give her back. She want her remains back. Give them back. Yeah. They and uh, then they gave it to her. She's like, this ain't it. These, this is not, this they, it. these are not it. This is not it. Tell you something. Uh, uh okay. So so the Indians left. She particularly but they're maybe de- coming back. She particularly desired to question Sitting Bull, whom she oh. regarded as directly responsible for her. You son's ain't getting death. a fucking sit down with Sitting Bull, lady. What you? That's not how this works. That's like it's like me being like, I want to talk to Biden. Uh, this is this is the well, Cindy Sheehan of this uh, the is the General Custer. Wow, ah, what a pull! Wow. Yeah. The Indians were seated in a row, waiting for the time to arrive. Wow. Maybe it says something else. It's kind of blurry. You've been drinking a little bit, haven't you? I have been drinking also. Um, To arrive when they should depart, with the exception of the bull, who stood with his face between his hands. Sitting bull? Pressed against the glass in in one of the doors, gazing out upon the street. Okay, so he's just looking out the window, basically. Okay. Sitting bull is. Yes. We We call him the bull? I guess they call him the bull. Wow. But that makes yeah, sense. It's like Nightcore. Kind of That's kind of fun. I like that. Nightcore on was, Pluto, by the way. If he was an Australian, they'd call him Bully. 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 It's like the uh the page six calling Monica Lewinsky the portly pepper pot. Like oh, was that like uh Christ. like they gave yeah. They, this so this uh newspaper has fun little nicknames for the <laughs> newsmakers Jesus of the moment. Christ. Alec That's... the Bloviator Baldwin, they call him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually down with that one. Yeah, I'm okay with that one. Wait, what is the Monica Lewinsky one again? The portly pepper pot. All Fuck through the me. all through that scandal that poor and beyond. Woman. Anytime that... she was mentioned in page six, <sighs> it's, it's sometimes they wouldn't even use her name. They that would just say woman. the portly wow. pepper pot, and you wow. wouldn't know. Wow, That's terrible. Oh yeah, God. terrible. We're the worst. Oh, the yeah. worst. Oh the... God. Ugh. Uh, as Miss McLaughlin approached the hotel, she caught sight of him, and though she had never seen him, immediately identified him with the remark, there he is, that is the man. Wow. She walked, however, directly to John Grass with the passionate appeal, where is my son? Grass gazed at her in amazement. Her entry was sudden, and her question was incomprehensible to him, both from its language and its import. Okay, so it's well, a language Native really. American. It's a Native American dude who doesn't know what the fuck she's saying. Yeah, yeah. And she's like yelling at him. She repeated her inquiry just as interpreter Primu came up. Her companion explained to him the object of her search. Grass could give her no information, so she turned away and walked up to the bull with the same question. Wow. Bull understands no English and looked at her stolidly. Sure. Stolidly? Okay. She repeated her cry, bursting into tears. Bull only shrugged his shoulders and walked over to another window, <laughs> resumed his former attitude. Wow. He's like, yeah, uh, I don't care, crying well, white not lady. A, he you guys even, are he's destroying like, our land. Yeah, destroyed our land. And yeah, he was very much like, I mean, I don't understand her. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. What's he supposed to do? I don't know. I guess he's... She, yeah, he, he doesn't know what you're saying, but he's, he's not going to comfort her. He, it's the enemy. Yeah. I mean, he's, yeah, he's a portly pepper pot. He's a portly yeah. pepper pot. Sorry, my dog's, my, Sorry, my dog just got it's... activated by something very Do strong. not worry. There are many times on this podcast and our other podcasts where Dave will have three dogs losing their shit. So <laughs> it's built, right. feel no good, shame. Good, good, good. Okay. It's a thing. It's a thing here. Um, You are an unfeeling, brutal murderer, exclaimed Miss McLaughlin, and sadly left the hotel. I mean, it's sad, but it's also, he doesn't speak English. Right. Yeah, this was not, this was doomed from the start. Let's 
let's make the point doesn't care like these are the people taking away the land he doesn't oh care. come on I, I i listen i for a minute i was on his side but at, get over it we said <laughs> we said how many times do we have to say we're sorry once well we can't do that <laughs> well we're never we won't so we, we can't get over it yeah get yeah. over it god yeah how about zero yeah how about zero how, how about, about zero you owe us an apology it. for being such pricks about it yeah wow yeah. Wow. Well, come on. You're we telling felt, me we're the yeah. ones who looked at this beautiful land and saw all the Arby's potential. Mm. Yeah. Crying yeah, at the right. litter. Yeah. Us feel bad. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, I'm starting to get pissed. Yeah. She will call on Major McLaughlin today. The latter remembers her son as a member of the Seventh Cavalry. His remembrance being strengthened by the fact that his name was the same as his own. I remember that guy he had my name. Wait, it was the same as who? M Major McLaughlin is oh, oh, the so same he, as McLaughlin. So yeah, that's right. why he remembers the guy. He's like, I remember him. That's my name. She's like, that's not helpful. He says, however, that there is no possibility of her identifying her son's remains as the unfortunate victims of that terrible affair were in most cases so mutilated that identification was impossible and the bodies were buried in a common grave. Well, then just show I, her I a want few someone arms. To, like explain that to her calmly as she's, you know. Miss, miss, <laughs> what yeah. you're not understanding is that even if we got the remains of your son here, you wouldn't be able to identify him. Mm -hmm. He was brutally beaten and chopped into so many pieces. Died in such pain. The, 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 and the word to a part million is, pieces before he lost consciousness. And Usually they went you don't feel ankle that. up. So he yeah. felt everything. Mm -hmm. He's he, he's soup meat now. Yeah, he's now he is now he is now meated. <laughs> That's what we should do. Uh, I okay, so if this is something that like if if my if a family member of mine dies, I'm just upset they died. I don't Not need your dad. the body. I don't need the body. I don't need the body. I agree. I don't want that part. I want someone yeah, else to do that part. I remember yeah. when my grandpa died for whatever. I just, it was suddenly, I was like 13 or 14. And suddenly I was looking at his body and I was like, why did this happen? Yeah. It's not you. Uh, so I, uh, wakes are probably not something we're going to do. I don't even like the term wake. Yeah. If, I, unless no. there's, if they stay dead, let's call it what it is. Asleep, a gone. Yeah, I'll be right. I like back. actually awake, but I don't want my remains right. to be there. That's right. right. I I like wakes. I think wakes are awesome. But yeah. what's going on? I go to wakes all the time. I just I'll, I'll cr I crash them. They call We're me the wake crasher. No, and I'll just crash wakes. Uh, also, you can get like the a wake nice border. It, Dave, yeah. the wake border. <laughs> yeah, he does like the water. So this yeah, works. It in goes a couple right ways. on board awake. I believe there's a Pluto <laughs> channel for that. Yeah. <laughs> Dave Anthony is the wake border. If that ran on spike for a few years and they do they do have the rights uh to that so you well, know, 24 hours um yeah spike. i don't it, it's that shit is real spooky and weird and i don't like it and no one ever looks like they looked no like you know my when my dad we had his wake he looked like milton burl and it was like this yeah. is, and now i'm bummed out a different way which i don't yeah. really it, need to be you don't want the last image of someone you love to be incongruent with who you loved and that feels like what those things do the mortician Always. is fighting a uphill battle to try yeah. to i mean they don't know they didn't hang out no no you know what I and mean? it's just yeah it's you know that that is a um i'm happy to see that sort of fall by the that industry kind of fall by the wayside the wayside you know? yes the, the wakeside exactly thank you, thank you. you know, thanks the skin looks waxy it's just i don't you're talking about mine, right? It's the no. Uh, yours looks oh, absolutely oh, dewy thank God. fresh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Dave. Good lord. Oh. Uh, charged with being a common scold. Hmm. Do you know what this is? Charged it sounds like someone guilty of rapscallionism. Uh, maybe yeah. I'll do. A, maybe I'll do a doll about this. Um, hmm. Philadelphia, George Dean, a wiry old fellow with a decided brogue, pleaded guilty in the new courthouse to blasphemy. Dean is also under indictment as a common scold. Sentence will be imposed when the other charge is heard. What does so, any of that mean? What is a common scold, Dave? Okay, so I'll look up the uh, precise definition, but uh, basically it was mostly a way to... Uh, Okay, it's a person who constantly nags, argues, or complains in a loud and annoying way. And so they were punished as 
uh, they made it illegal, like uh, disturbing the peace kind of person. But mostly, obviously, you can understand how this would be used against women, right? Yes, sure. I and like most things, I was like, "Oh, that's good." You get rid of assholes, and then quickly, like this could be the wrong hands. It, this could <laughs> yeah. be horrible without question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's never going to be yeah. the worst scolds mm -mm. who get punished for being. Actually, scolds. it's the probably the worst scolds who are in charge of it. Yes, yes. for sure. Like when McCarthy was just like, "We got a lot of people who hate America," it's like, "No, you're doing the oh fuck." You're yeah. Oof. I, you know, have to hold myself back at all times from being a grammar and punctuation and spelling scold. Yes, mm -hmm. I um, do too. But you are, you are very good. I, no. I do that. I, I mean, there's nothing. I, my favorite thing to do, and Dave Anthony and I go back and forth on this. But I, if someone is a, a lunatic, and they give you the wrong your, I oh. just am like. Nah, allow yep. me to end the debate with a yeah. double. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh God. Just two what? asterisks and, and a Y O U R. You mean? Yeah. <laughs> how? How has how how don't people know that? It, the only reason now that you need to do it is to, it's just the easiest way to get ownership over an online argument. So you of just course. should. But I, I yeah. think people just I. I would imagine most people know, but I think it just auto corrects or whatever to the wrong you are and they don't notice it. I'm afraid I'm at, not accepting that. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at what you are putting out into the world before you put yes. it out in the world. I'm sorry. Your name's on it. Your name yep. is on it. Yep. And yeah. it's again, if you're having an argument where you're trying to sound intelligent and you go at the wrong, I'm sorry, or yeah. the wrong yeah. there, I'm afraid I will come at you with that. But it's, yeah. you know, and it also happens, it happens like in written you know, yeah, like yes. when people yeah, yeah. would write notes and whatever, it's just, they, they don't know it. And I don't, I just don't understand it. Like that's a really basic thing. When yeah, I would, it's when I used grade. to be on dating apps, a, a turnoff would be the wrong your. I'd be like, yeah, oh, hey, God. I don't love this. Oh no, that's, that's. I mean, like, I'd still go out with them. You know, I'm mm, a dirt bag, but you know what I mean? Yeah. You get it. Yeah, that was, yeah, that's, that's immediate <laughs> dismissal. Like, and, and in fact, you know, even in just texting where it is kind of, yes. you know, low impact communication. Yes. Misspellings. Like, I just, like, I hold on to it, man. Well, we are, we are true, <laughs> true. We, Dave, you and I are on a text chain yes, where there's are. someone, we uh, follow and they oh. don't know that we follow them and we really love to criticize their grammar. Oh boy, do we ever. Oh, what a nightmare. The scenario that we are in, I mean, you know, the guy who it's about, fuck him, fuck I'm him. I'm right here. Yeah. I'm right fucking here. Oh, oh hey shit, man, right. it's that wake oh, guy. Wow. Oh shit. <laughs> wow. But that is my worst nightmare. Uh, you know? Uh, it's so... I mean, he deserves it, but it's, I know. it's also my I know, and I and I really do think we probably all are the subject of a group text. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I, I, I don't yeah. think that I, I would hope that I don't have what this guy, because we are, it is the pylon brigade. It's Oh, but you know brutal. there are group texts about me and my pronunciations. Like, you know it's... Probably. Maybe. Yeah, I'm on a couple about you. They're great. No, what? Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Got, the one where we talk about the surfing is... Fun. It's a fun when one. I, when I get that, it has its own notification set. That's a fun one. So it's, it really is great. And the guts. So excited. Sometimes I just dip in there for a good gift for another group. But we've yeah. really gift the shit out of that room. It's the gift that keeps on. I won't. Uh, go ahead, Dave. Uh, uh, Martha Sakaris, a charming young lady who won the first prize in the beauty show of Spa has received within the last week no less than 100 and odd offers of marriage from Ugh. bankers and young scions of English titled aristocracy. Wow. There are 10 marquises and a dozen counts and viscounts. What's a viscount? In Viscount. the field. What? Viscount. The okay. S is not pronounced? Yeah. Or is it? Oh, interesting. Viscount. Yeah. What is a viscount? I don't know. But I know it's no, pronounced I've never heard that. I'm going to fake pile on and say, duh. Uh, in the field for the lady hand. So this lady won a beauty contest. And, and a, everyone. dude's like, well, I'll take that name? one. Uh, Martha Sucrets. Martha Sucrets? Who cares? Might be Sucrets. It's like Sucrets. a British yeah, baron, basically, a Viscount. Uh, okay. A Viscount is like a British baron? Or vi okay. Viscount. Viscount. Is that is that less than a baron? 
Mm. Oh, I don't know. I'm not comfortable know, tipping it up. I don't know the rankings. I don't, I don't like. I don't like your pushing back, pretending now like you're gonna be like, is it better than a ra- well, you, look, Dave? You you don't know. You don't know anything. What is a baron? Do you know what's above a baron? Yeah, um, uh, polar bears. Okay, we're good. And um, okay, so and this is classic man. Um, just a woman is attractive when something, and then every guy just like it's very much like Planet Earth. When you'd watch Planet Earth and like four birds would be competing for the one bird who's looking for a mate. So that's yeah. essentially what it is here. These guys are just going like, well, I have access to a vault. And she's like, oh, my God. You yeah. know, it is it is sliding into the DMs. I'm for, a, Yes, it is. Yeah. I'm a tar magnate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the pageant? Spa? Um, so it was the pageant so of was, spa. spa yeah, lady? I just said the pageant of spa, which doesn't really. It's, it's crazy. It's, I don't. That uh, yeah. I don't know. She maybe um, just got made over. Yeah, I, whatever it was. That I we know that you couldn't reveal much, and we know that that didn't matter because men were so horny. Right. Yeah. yeah. Horny and lonely. Horny and lonely. Yeah. Yeah. And wealthy. And some, some wealthy, yes, and, some and like we said before, probably yeah. whacking it to uh, discharge and arousal in the newspaper. Okay, all right, mm-hmm. let's uh, let's try. Yeah, let's. I'll I mean, tell you what, no. my nipples are hard. Okay, well, nobody's else. Are. Well, I'm just saying, you don't know they that. First of all, actually. yeah, I don't think you're allowed to just sort of assume. Like Dave said, he's <laughs> got. A little, he's yeah. showing his turkeys. His turkeys cooking, as we like to say. Okay, my, my, my chest turkeys are. Yeah, ready. look, he's got a couple bites showing. We're, the boys are having a little fun, Dave. Relax. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, the lunatics of Great Britain. This is, <laughs> is about that a band? You, Gareth. This I is about not, you. I, that's, that's guilty. Great Britain is worrying about the rapidly increasing number of its lunatics. Well, this could apply to today as well. Yes. Yes. No doubt. It appears that those supported by the government alone have grown to 75,000. <laughs> Wait, what? They're oh, so the lunatics are them, yeah. locked up. They're locked up. Oh, the oh right. Okay, right, right. Okay. They're wards of the state or whatever. Right. Yeah. It is attributed to the hurry of modern life. Those who attribute it to that have doubtless never seen Chicago or any other live American town where everybody hurries in a way that the Englishmen have no idea of. USA. And where few are insane. USA, baby. Oh. So this is an editorial yeah. yes, about how is. we're better. Yeah. Because we're we're busy. Yeah. We shake it off. Yeah. Yeah. We don't give a yeah. fuck. Oh, are we, we mentally ill? We don't care. Yeah. We're gonna go right Whatever. to work. Whatever. Ever been to Chicago, dickhead? Yeah. <laughs> is Our it mentally Ill, Ill to work a couple jobs? 14 hours a day? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We push 60% it down. of our kids die on trains. <laughs> is that so wrong? Mm. 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 <laughs> Uh, brothers held to the grand jury, August Spruth and Charles Spruth, the two brothers who attacked Edward Dreeks in the hallway of the house at number 1050 West 20th Street Friday Let's evening. Get to it. Oh, yeah. Were each held to the criminal court in thousand dollar bonds. Wow. Uh, Dreeks received a cut on the hand four inches long and a stab which broke the bone in the head. Holy and shit, lead the, with that one, the, first of all. That's the bed, that the is the star. That's the one. They cut through yeah. his skull and they're like, the hand was really gushing. Also, yeah, his brain a, was punctured. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> broke the, bent the blade, bent the blade of the knife. Holy oh, shit. Holy well, that's shit. what oh, we have the skull for. It's really, you know, Ooh. the brain shield. That's yeah. rough. I'm the, I, I like that it's they've just used his full address just in case anybody wants to go and yeah, wrap they, this job they, up. The time, they always, always did that. All, just, up until the 1970s, they did it. Do you guys know about the evening whirl in St. Louis? No. no. It was a uh it was a newspaper uh that started, I want to say in like the, the 50s name. or 60s. Okay. Yeah, the whirl. And and it, for a while it was the St. Louis Whirl Examiner. But then it was just the evening, it was the evening world. Okay. Um, and it was uh it was black owned and um and and it was kind of pro cop. Uh-huh. Um so it was like it was stories of crime that were going on <clears throat> in like majority black neighborhoods of of St. Louis. And a lot of the stories were written in rhyme. Oh wow. and uh what? and like and the addresses were always used. 
And uh, so there was a whole section of, uh, for domestic abuse. It was the wife beaters and street, sweetheart oh mistreaters section. Uh, the rhyming is. It was crazy. Um, I'll, I'll send you like there, there are a bunch of, there's like an archive online, but, uh, you know, on the 2400 block of bus, they did few men fuss. Oh, that well, guy was like, Jesus Christ. I'm really punching this murder up. This is dark. Yeah. It's, uh, wow. it's something else. You might, well, it. it looks like they might lose their daughter, but that's life when you're dealing with manslaughter. How are we? <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> sometimes the ones that weren't written in rhyme, it would, it would tell the story of, uh, of a crime that was a rhyme. Wow. Um, but it would tell a story of like, you know, a, a you know, a shooting on the 2400 block of, uh, you know, uh, Kings highway. Oh my. Wow. It would just say, Oh my, in the middle of the, of the story. <laughs> They're like, we got to get moving. There is some valuable yeah. information we got to get out. Yeah. So we'll just go with an, Oh my, how now there was a lot wow. of how now. As well. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a classic. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll send you a link yes. to the, the world archive. The next time you're on Dave, sneak that in. Oh yep. yeah. Hell yeah. Um, an artery in his throat was cut and his left arm was badly Jesus bruised. Christ. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Ready? They cut okay. his throat and hit his skull, and this guy led with hand. You ready for it? They yes. had all been drinking. Oh, well, sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought we had a problem for a minute, but. <laughs> of course they were. It's just, just, just lunatics. Yes. Did they um, say what? Did they say for how long? Was it a... No. And the guy, did the guy die? No, he's alive. Wow. Fucking yeah. A. Good for him. Thirsty. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. It was three guys partying. They got into an argument with the brothers and then the brothers are like, wow, let's kill him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Detective Lowenstein still alive. Jesus oh Christ. God. There's a lot of like near death. That is yeah. another one panel comic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Detective Lowenstein still alive. It's like, um, it's like a Brenda star, uh, <laughs> but it's one panel at a time. You got to be very patient with uh, detective Lowenstein. Still alive. Still like it's a alive. curse. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he only wants to die. Oh, <laughs> come on, take me. Mm. Oh, fuck. Uh, Jacob Lowenstein, the detective who was shot Friday by his wife and reported dead in yesterday's papers, is doing well. And will wow, probably wow. Recover. Well, let's not. I mean, we came out with that pretty early. He made the bullet, it. Yeah, he made it. The bullet has not yet been extracted from his head because the surgeon's fear of further loss of blood would be dangerous. Should we even be talking mm -hmm. about? I mean, that sounds bad. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. Yeah. And I wonder if he is uh, a, uh, a um, an ancestor of Evan and Jaron Lowenstein. Do you remember Evan and Jaron? No. Of course. Were, like, I, I did duo. Evan and Gareth. I did stuff as Evan and Gareth. Oh, for no, see, Evan, that's and Evan and Jaron was very on our thing. radar. Oh, of it, course. What, but there, yeah, we, yes. we were like, no, we're different. We do. Yeah. God damn them. Evan and Jaron were this like super dreamy duo. They They were like, you know, guitar pop. Uh, early 2000s. Uh, and then uh, and then it was like, then they're Orthodox. I mean, they were, had always been Orthodox Jewish, which is like rare in the, you know, dream sure. guitar pop world. Yep. And then, so Jaron is still, I think, in the music business. Evan, do you know what Evan no. does now, Gareth? Uh -oh. No. He may, he, he may not be anymore, but up until literally within the last couple of years, and maybe still... Come on. Uh, the manager of Kevin Spacey. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. There's a thing to be, there's a I'm thing for a dreamy young boy to I'm be. I'm going to guess that he's changed his career. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I think you're, I think it's safe to maybe. assume he might, at least he has another side gig. Maybe. There's I don't know. Hustle. Is maybe. Kevin Spacey going to come back, Dave? What do you think? No. Probably. No, he's done. Do you he's think? Done. I think he's done. I bet he will. I think he's done because I think I that he, will. he I don't think people see him as enough of a value, but maybe. I, I don't think maybe don't think. maybe not to movies, but yeah, Mel I bet Gibson's active. He'll, yeah, I bet he will have a. Uh, he will do some big Broadway show that right. will something. He'll be something. Yeah, so he'll be in something. Right yeah, I I just remember I always used to go to the Jones Cafe and he would be in that corner table and always with a super young dude and I would just oh be, always yeah, that looks too young for always okay. he was a big yeah. brother asshole God. Mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. can I oh my God can I can I tell you guys a story yeah, yeah, you yeah. May, that you may cut out um we won't okay so one of my uh one of the first people I knew 
uh, when I moved to LA was this guy who was um, like, you know, handsome, young, jacked dude, uh, straight guy. He was a, he had been a Marine and he was like working as a personal trainer, but he had for a while been Kevin Spacey's assistant. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I was like, okay, tell me everything. And, um, <laughs> and a story that he told me was that they went to whatever the Sony lot to, uh, see a screening of saving private Ryan before that movie was released. And this guy said in the middle of the screening, it was kind of just the two of them, uh, in the middle of the screening, Kevin Spacey took off his jacket, put it on his lap and jacked off in saving private Ryan, which oh, is amazing. Amazing. My, oh my God. So oh my God. Yeah. So then I literally told that story to everyone. <laughs> I'm even people I didn't meet, yeah. just like people on the street. Yeah. I would stop if, 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 if there was a don't walk. Just, sign, I just, I just, oh my God. I picture you, you, take out you your with a sandwich headphones? Board walking yes. around. Yeah. Yeah, knocking on people's car windows. Hi, <laughs> could you could you get this down? <laughs> All right. So uh, then, you know, uh, a couple of years later, I meet another young guy, no. uh, hot, ripped, straight young guy, who also for a time worked as Kevin Spacey's assistant. And I was like, oh my god, let me. This is incredible. I get to tell you this story. So I told him the story, and he was like, I don't actually, I don't think that's true. And I was like, oh, why? And he goes, you know, I don't. It's not like he never jacked off in front of me before, but I just feel like he would have more respect for the cinema than that. Oh my God. And, uh, and I said, that's an amazing thing to say. Can we back up to, it's not like he never jacked off in front of me before. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, well, yeah, and there were a lot of road trips. I was like, uh, he, uh. but it, and it was just so like the, you know, uh. the way that people like that operate is just like to this guy who yes. was otherwise very sensible. It It was like, it made perfect sense. Like, yeah, he has to sit in a car for more than uh, ninety minutes. What's yeah, he going to do? It's true. I mean, Dave and I drive seat. to a lot of shows, and we're definitely yeah. masturbating. Got to jack of off. Yeah. Got to jack. No, off if the car me. rides more than three hours, I'm. You I'm have to. What are you supposed you to do? Hold to. it in. It's you like piss. Have to. You have to. <laughs> How <laughs> else God. are you going to stay focused? That on is the task amazing. Incredible. And right? I still hope that he jacked off during Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, I do too. I do yeah, too. I, I, I feel believe. like that's, I choose to believe. I choose that's to believe. Twisted. I feel like it was Ed Burns that did it. That's that what that I was made thinking. him have to let the voice. This is like, okay, right? I fucking jack off. I like to think when the knife was going in yeah. the chest. No, sure. Yeah. It's a hot scene. It's yeah. It's dark. Uh is it's it, yeah, it is pretty dark. It's uh it's not great. Guys, so uh, it's a moment of real emotional intimacy between two men. And I, 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 get I that. may I'm gonna I know Adam Goldberg, so I might send him a message and just say, like, hey, right. I heard this and I, I think it's about you. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. Please. He'd want to like know. That seems like the thing to do here, right? He'd want to know. Just He'd want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Back to Jacob Lowenstein, who has been shot in the head by his wife. Uh, sorry. Uh, I kept thinking he's crazy he was jacking off. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The bullet has not yet been extracted from his head because they think it's going to lead to blood loss. Okay. He slept much of the time yesterday and he's ate dying. a food. He's dying. Well, he slept. He's got a bullet in his head. If you got shot this in guy, the head, you're he's not sleeping. sleeping. He's yeah. sleeping koala hours. We're talking bullet 23 hours a day this guy's conked out. Let the man snooze. Good Lord. He's tired. He was at no time delirious yesterday and saw yeah. his brothers, Moses and Lewis. Wow. Hey Naming kids Moses. That's fine. Miss Lowenstein is detained at the, or Mrs. Uh, Lowenstein is detained at the East Chicago Avenue station. Monday, she will be arraigned. She refuses to see reporters. Miss Lowenstein's, Mrs. Lowenstein's friends say the papers have done her an injustice. I agree. They say she was industrious and a saving housewife. At the end, uh, the quarrels oh. between Miss Lowenstein and her husband, they say, were caused by her belief in his unfaithfulness. Okay, not by his unfaithfulness, but by her no, belief. Her belief, in his unfaithfulness. Her belief. Okay. So he Women. was fucking around. And Sounds like a unbelievable. Wow. Just accusing men. <laughs> but salary, he's still alive. He, yeah, um, I mean, his his salary they claim went to buy luxuries for other women, and when yeah. he Cooley said he intended to leave her. She shot him in despair and anger. Okay. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Just do it. Don't. Don't start DMing women. Just do mm -hmm. it. If you want out, get out. Just go. Just yeah. go. Just leave. And by the way, let this be another example to you, Great Britain. Our lunatics 
Yeah. Uh, are busy and mm-hmm. unfaithful Arriving. and heavily armed. Activated yeah, right. in heavily, a fun heavily way. Armed. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yes. that'll never change. All right, Dave, you want to cap right. her off? Yeah. Oh, you want to do another one? Oh, no, no, no that's last, fine. Uh, we, can do, we can do one last one. Bang out one more real quick. How the girls haze. A gentle form of hazing is that to which the fresh girl entering the women's college at uh, Bryn Mawr is subjected. Two imagine. bundles of two bundles of books are hung around her neck, and she is required to ascend an inclined plank that is slippery. <laughs> when, after many slips, she what? reaches the top, she is given a lamp, which she is told to keep full and the wick well trimmed, as to not to be caught <laughs> like the foolish virgins. Oh my God! I'm what? glad we got one more in. That's good stuff. That is wild hazing. <laughs> that is crazy. How long does the lamp have to, does uh, she have to do the lamp? Uh, maybe forever. I don't know. And for the rest like, of her college. Mm, wow. Wow. Yeah. Walking up a slippery plank with two things of books around your neck, just slipping. Bundles of books. Bundles of books. Slip, hitting you in the face and stuff. Oh, Body just, flailing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty is good. It, is she, does she have the lamp to keep it lit so she doesn't get banged? Is that banged? Well, the foolish virgins, as not to get oh. caught like the foolish virgins. Are they saying? I like, said, well, when we're talking about someone plank dropping a lot, banged yeah. is the wrong word for fucking. No, but I, okay. I disagree. Yeah, well, I, listen, I know when I go home late at night, a lamp keeps me from getting banged, which is why I always blow it out. Um, <laughs> Dave Holmes. Bless you for joining us. Oh my us. God. What Dave Holmes, a pleasure. Who killed the video star? Yeah. Um, the podcast where you can get it anywhere. Um, it is a podcast where you can get it anywhere. But everything <laughs> that you do, go on. That, but their uh, limited edition version is only available at Target. That's okay. right. Um, Sorry. Yeah. So, that yeah. out. so please get there if you can. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. And uh, follow Dave. Thank you. The, your third appearance. So we have to thank you now. You're officially, yeah. wow. this is big wow. for you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank get, you. Get ready. Get ready. What a pleasure. What get a pleasure. Ready. What a pleasure. Thank you, Dave. Gonna, uh, Better, Dave. Get in my car and, and jack off. Thank you. Yep. I'm, I was actually jacking off through the story about Kevin Spacey jacking off, just to be clear with everyone. Great. Okay. Yeah. Great. You. It's hot. It is hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Dave. Some of these days, you'll miss me, honey.